Hello, everyone. This is Qualita and Daniel. Hello. And um, today we just want to see how everyone is doing as we're coming in and we're doing week number 11 in Be the Chain That's Prepared with Strategies and Prayers, Affirmations, Confessions, and Commands. Of course, it's with your deliberation of your decrees. And uh, so, you know, we want to see how everyone is doing. How is everyone doing? Thanks for those who are who have joined in and uh thank you jerry for joining in and uh so you know we know this is it's a restful day i tell you that much uh today was a pressing day for us i don't know about for you guys because i just could have rest it today as you can kind of feel it in my throat i've been helping a friend pack from uh the harvey uh storm so people are still in this area still having to pack their homes up uh, for the contracts, there's so many workers uh, that are doing the contracting works until everyone uh, doesn't have the uh, didn't have the time to get everything packed ahead of time. Excuse me, one more. <coughs> so um, a friend of mine is packing, and you know how you someone asks you to pack, and and you say yeah when they ask you, and then when you walk in, you see how much they have. My friend has a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. <laughs> so anyway, a lot of stuff. but anyway, I'm, I'm I'm glad to help her and um, you know, to encourage her on this journey. Um, but anyway, um, I know so many of you are still recovering and um, rebuilding. Um, as many as you know, other people are. Um, you know, a lot of other people are doing the same thing too. And so you know, and I want to tell you this is just like our. You know, using that analogy with my uh, friend that's packing, she's getting ready. She hasn't got the contract yet. She's getting bids right now, and but she's getting prepared. And uh, so I'm, I'm, you know, while I was helping her, the Holy Spirit was giving me something that uh, to encourage myself, my son, you, and that is to be prepared and be ready. How I, I put a post out. I think the other day I said, be done, I'm done, and I'm prepared. You know, you got to be ready. You know, you you prayed, you've asked God, you declared and you decreed, you know, you, you have fasted. And uh, so you you, you want to be ready when God, you know he's going to do it because that's the kind of God we serve. Mm -hmm. So you want to be ready, mm -hmm. be prepared because you never know someone, when that blessing or when that turnaround is going to happen for you. I know I've had some some things that happened, and thank God I was ready. So uh -huh. thank God I was prepared. Yeah. Uh, so you know, this is to encourage you, get ready because the storm cloud that's passing over. You know, we're coming into harvest season or in harvest season, and so you never know the time or the hour that God is ready. And you know, one thing uh, a friend of mine said to me last night. <coughs> excuse me, God. You know this little, uh, you know, still. That I don't want, I don't like to call that out because all of this debris that's left out. Um, but a lot of people have been going through an allergy season, and so you know I don't want to. I ain't claiming mine because I mean, I'm getting healed in it. But uh, of course, you know it does affect us who live in Southeast Texas um, uh, this time of the year anyway. And then with the recent storm, does not help the allergies, you know. But God, but God. And so I'm healed. I'm healed. I, I'm just claiming that in the name of Jesus. But I'm healed. So, <clears throat> but I want to just tell you, I do have my cough drop in my mouth. So, you know, but then I have my water here. So, but uh, it's just that, you know, this is part of the healing process. Um, but I want to uh, tell you, it's uh, one thing that you got to understand when you're asking God um, and you're being ready being prepared and you know you you saying that you're done you're declaring the decree that you're done is that you be in the position to be blessed uh that was one thing my uh friend she said to me last night we were talking and encouraging each other and uh she said call you know god only blesses those who are in the position to be blessed so you got to be in a position to be blessed yes you do. you've been asking god for the change you uh been um praying for this magnificent miracle to happen you know the miracle starts with you so you have to be 
uh, in position to be blessed. And we, you, you're asking, what do you mean, Carlita? Um, you know, you, you can't hold grudges on folks that may have done wrong to you. You can't, um, you have to be the bigger person. You know, I'm, I'm going to go a little off track because a lot of people think, you know, I'm just meaning, uh, you know, you got all your paperwork in order. You, you got your business uh, ideas in order. You got your, um, um, you, you know, your finances ready to be received. And, you know, you've done all of that stuff. But let's do some house cleaning on the inside, you, you know, because, you know, through all of this, you know, you, you've taken some lashes. You've taken, you've been the, 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 uh, the, the, uh, the blunt of many targets. And so, you know, hurting people hurt other people. But in that, you know, you have to be in the position to be blessed. And that means sometimes you got to be the bigger person because you got to know that the enemy don't fight fail. So you got to knock that sucker out. And you gotta shut him up. First, you gotta shut him up, and you gonna knock him out. Okay? So I'm gonna repeat that again. The enemy does not fight fair. So you have to knock, shut him up, and knock him out. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? I mean, you don't let your words be spoken evil of. And it's not your job to justify what other people think of you. It's not your job. That's God's job. Vengeance is His. So you have to remember that, you know, and is it easy to do? No. I wouldn't tell you that it's easy to do. But is it the right thing? Is it the bigger thing to do? Most definitely it is. And so, you know, you have to stand in that faith. And you have to speak those faith words every day. I don't care how it may look. I don't care how uh it, 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 it's looking like, oh, Lord, remember, I, I think on the post last week, I put, you know, God specializes in impossible situations. What may look, uh, what may not look possible to man, it's possible with God. It's possible with him. So, you know, <coughs> you want to, excuse me, you want to always stay in that position to be blessed, being the bigger person. You know, I'm not telling you let people abuse you, let people um, mistreat you, but you have to be, you know, think. Like uh, Medina say on top of Pierre play, what would Jesus do? You know what I'm saying? WWJD. Yeah, you know, you, you gotta do that. You gotta, and, and you gotta do it. And so you have to remember that you are being light in the process because you want that miracle to manifest. You've been declaring and decree bigger things. You don't need. God to say, well, you know, because you, know, you you were in that right position, you know, I got to knock that down a little bit. No, uh-uh. I've been declaring the decree bigger. God has to give me bigger. I've been sowing seeds. I've been faithful. I've been doing what God asked me to do. So then God has to come through. You know he's going to come through. That's your insurance. You know what I'm saying? You, you've been doing the good deeds that God and doing a good work. And so you you know that God has to he has to uh, back up what he said he's going to do for you. He has to, right, Dan? He has to. Yeah. He has to. That's so you correct. have to you know be patient. I know a lot of us don't want to be there because trust me, it seems like we have to be more patient than, than normal. Uh, like I tell you, my friend, she was encouraging me last night to be more patient. I'm more like that's what I've been encouraging people to do. I needed to hear that. And so, you yes, know, some people feel like you've been patient forever. <coughs> mm -hmm. But God yeah. is coming through. He's coming God through. God is coming through. He's coming through. He's going to come through. Mm -hmm. And for many of you, he's already come through. Mm -hmm. And uh, I praise God for your victory. I know God has come through for us on some things. So, and then there's things that we're still standing in, in faith. We're standing in victory, you know, because we know that we, we matter. And we know that we win. And so we're standing in faith. And we're standing in faith with you. And believe in God for whatever it is, coming in agreement. Whatever you're asking God to do, and you you being obedient, you being faithful to that which God has called you to do. Hey, you know, you 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 God can't do can't do nothing but show up. So you know, just just in this uh, some people may call it a test. Um it's basically really just showing us really how we should how Christians should act. 
So, you know, you have to be that light that is showing people how Christians should act. Because some people think they know. You, you know, and God uses you to show you, no, I don't have to argue with you to disagree with you. I just don't agree. And we're going to be adults about that. You know, I don't have to, you don't have to brainwash me to believe you, what you say. I just don't believe it. I just don't agree with it. And we're good because we're two mature adults and that's how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And so, and I respect your opinion. I, I respect your, if you saying it's a fact, I respect what you're thinking. And we're going to move it on. We're going to keep moving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so you have to understand that. So that the reason why you have to be in that position and I'm saying being prepared, be in that position because, see, God wants to give you that ultimate comeback. Remember, this is the season that God is restoring because we, we come through storms. You know, we, we, people going through the fires right now. We, we're praying for those people. <coughs> Excuse me, the Oklahoma, um, Oklahoma the, uh, Las Vegas shooting. We had the, uh, the diff all the hurricanes that have passed through, the earthquakes that have gone through. So a lot of people are rebuilding. You know, we in the read. God has to restore. He has to rebuild. He has to. He's reconnecting people. And you know, you have to understand too that in this season that God is uh, connecting. Make make sure you're being prepared. That you're uniting and connecting with people that are like minded with you. That mean you good. Um. That that. You 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 know when people have your back. You know it. Don't don't try to you know that song you say, um, don't push it, don't force it, just relax and let it flow. I think I'm saying the words mm -hmm. right. But if I'm not, you understand what I'm saying. Um, don't if you gotta like force yourself to be around someone and they they you know you don't feel comfortable being around them that you know, God I try to do everything just to to, to, to make it work with this person. But it seems like it's not working. That's not who God, that's the Holy Spirit prompting you right there. That's not who you should be connected to. That's not for this season who God wants you connected with because it's not a part of where you're going. And it doesn't matter if it's bloodline or whatever. God wants you connected with people of purpose for your destiny, for the kingdom. Now, let me take that back and I say this season. I, I think for good because God wants you around people that, you know, I would, I'm going to say this for instance, um, Jesus, when he was on the cross, and I'm, I'm going to paraphrase this, uh, this, this lesson because many of you already know this lesson. And I never forget, uh, you know, as you read the scripture, the disciples um, were telling Jesus, you know, what about his mother? And he was saying, that that was not his mother anymore. I'm putting it in more layman terms so you can understand. And, you know, it wasn't until last night the Holy Spirit gave me a revelation of why Jesus was saying that the lady who brought them into this physical earth, mm -hmm. why she was no longer his mother, and that he was telling the other uh, disciples and, and her, her children to take care of her. Is because now that he was becoming deity, now that he was becoming the Messiah, Messiah, she was he was no longer going to be her son. He was going to be her savior. Mm. He was going to be her redeemer. Mm. He was going to be her Messiah. Yeah. He was going to be her Rosa Sheeran. He was going to be her Lily of the Valley. He was going to be the great I am for her. He was going to be king of kings, Lord of the Lord. So he could no longer be her son because now he was now her savior. And some of you are trying to connect with people and stay connected to people that you have now transformed out of the position that you were once in, now you're in a new position and God sees you differently. You have a new identity 
You have a new name. You have a new purpose, new destiny, a new walk. And you're trying to walk with the old in the old way. It, 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 it's like, for instance, <coughs> you're on a job. And you with your coworkers and all of you all pretty much going up for this, this promotion. And this promotion is to be maybe the supervisor, the manager, the president of the company, the CEO, chairman of operations, you know. <coughs> and you're still trying to hang with them, but they can no longer see you as the just their co-laborer. You're now their boss. You see the difference? The difference is now you stepped into a new arena. Mm -hmm. So now you don't fit being in the regular pool of workers. Because now they have to see you differently because no longer are you their coworker. Because now you can hire and fire. Mm. Now you're giving orders. Now they have to look at you in a different respect. Because you're the leader of that operation. You're the watchman of that operation. Because as you're watching them, the higher boss is watching you to make sure you carry out the orders that they have assigned you to. So no longer can you be looked at, be referenced as just their co-worker. You're now their boss, their supervisor. Was the same how Jesus was. His mother could no longer, he could no longer be her son. He was now, had, by him going on that cross, he had taken on the identity and the position as her leader, her Lord, her Savior, her Messiah, her Redeemer, the Great I Am. The Rose of Sharon, the Lily and the Bath, the Bright and more, the Star, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The author is finished up our faith. What? So you have to understand, he was Jesus. He was Emmanuel. He was all of those names wrapped into one. And he could no longer be her son. He was God's son. So that's why he told them, now you take care of her. You, you see, he was giving them that position. He was giving them, he was telling them as his, their leader, this is what you do for her. This is your new assignment. Take care of the lady that was once my mother. Now she's your mother. And I'm saying this to many of you and to all of us. To me, myself, you're going to have to connect with people that's going to see you for who you are. It's time for you to rise up, wake up, be alert, be assertive, be on point, be all that God has called you to be. It's time for you to take that, that position, that lead position. Last night we were packing, my son said, Mom, you bossy. And I was like, <laughs> me, I'm bossy. And he was like, you bossy. And I was like, you know what? And I didn't realize, you know, I'm just being mean, and nobody had a problem with me being mean. And I was like, you know, guys, I'm sorry if I'm being bossy. I'm sorry, it's just in my personality. I'm not trying to be bossy. One of the ladies, she said, you know, you just know what it takes to get stuff done. <laughs> and you don't have a problem with it. And I was like, look at that. See, it was people who that has a, already has set up in their mindset. We accept her for who she is. Those are people that you connect with. Anybody that's coming against that, those are not the ones. Nope. And, you, you know, will it, will it be sad or be hurtful um, for you to have to break away? It, it probably will. But you have to be connected with people that are going to keep birthing you to where God has destined you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, you have to be connected but you have to be at the right place at the right time. You have to be in prepared, being ready, because you never know. You know, you, you never know who. Like Joe Osteen, I was watching him yesterday morning. He was saying, you don't know who 
is going to be your gatekeeper? Mm. Who is going to be the person to open up the gate for you? The person that you think would not be the gatekeeper for you would be the gatekeeper. It could be a little older lady to be the gatekeeper for you. To one that you just kind of like overlook. You don't know who they know. You don't know what influences they have. You don't know who they're connected to. Or it might be some young person. Yeah. You, you just don't know who that person is. So be careful how you treat people. Because you don't know who you're entertaining. You don't know who hmm. they're using. And you don't know who they are connected to. You don't know who the influence they may have. And who they have it with. For you. You never, ever know. You never know who's watching you. Joe who talked about that, how this man was being nice to another man at a gas station. Mm-hmm. He paid for the man's gas. And there was a guy there that the guy didn't even know. Months later, this guy goes into a car dealership trying to get his car fixed and everything. And the guy walked up, another guy, a guy walked up to him who happened to be the general manager of this uh, car dealership. And the guy told him, he said, I know who you are. You're Phil Munsey. You pay for a gentleman's gas. And so the man was like, yeah, Phil Munsey was like, yeah. He said, whatever you need. Matter of fact, if you need a new car, I'm going to give you the best deal. Make sure you get the car. Matter of fact, if you need your whatever you need done in your car, I'm gonna give you. A, I think he said a discount, and you got favor with us. You know, it was just it was just the favor was just going on and on. Mm-hmm. And so what I'm saying is, you never know who God has a connection for you, even for yeah. a job, a position. You never know. Single, like who 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 will introduce you to your husband, single man to your wife, to your wife. You don't never know for your child to get into college. You don't have no idea. <coughs> Who God is using, you know, for you, for promotion, for a home, for, you know, a business adventure. You never know who God is using. So be careful who you entertain. For you may be entertaining your gatekeeper. Hmm. And so be careful. And that's part of being prepared. You know, you want that change. You've been asking out for that change in your life. You know, that upgrade. That's a change. You know, when the clock t- uh, changes time. That's a change. And so you never know who God is using. And I'm so sorry, guys. For some reason, Facebook is acting up tonight. We're not seeing any of the comments. Yeah, we're not rolling. seeing any of the comments. We're not seeing who's liking. who's liking, who's joining in. We're not. All I can see every now and then, I see some little hearts or, or yeah, lights fly across the across screen. The screen That's it. And I'll see comments. Yeah, I saw but, the first, the first uh, person who liked it. But who joined in? Or who liked it? Yeah, who liked it. And see, that's all. I guess that'd be the first person who joined yeah. in. Yeah, and I'm sorry. We thank After God. That, we no. thank you for all you who are joining in. We can't see it tonight. For some reason, Facebook is not allowing us to see those who are joining in. So we can tell you guys, you know, thank you for joining in. We and appreciate it. to your comments. Too. Yes. Sorry. We're sorry. It's, it's not I our see. fault. Uh, that's okay. Don't, don't mess it up because we don't know. Oh. oh, okay. Look, now we can see you guys. See My son did something. Oh, you look at that. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, you know what? Thank you, Tiffany. You know, I have some um, honey. I have a lemon. Guess what? I was taking the tea, right, uh, Tiffany? <clears throat> I was doing the, the tea with the lemon. Girl, I had the, the grapefruit, the honey, and... Uh, yeah, she had everything. I'm telling you, it's not the the cold part is gone. It's these, you know. I'm not claiming that girl. Pray for me over there. I've been doing exactly what you said. I did it in a tea, and I did it for days because that's what I always do. I always do that. That cleared up, but it's, it's like around this time of the year, you know. I want God to heal me from this. I've been walking in my mm. healing, and so when the, the weather kind of changed a little bit, or like my son cut the grass or whatever. You know, it'll, it'll, you know, no, I ain't claim that. I'm not, I'm, I'd have knocked the enemy out, honey. You know what I'm saying? But thank you, Kim, it's so true about this. This is great. It works wonderful. I mean, because I was all stopped up and, 
you know, couldn't breathe. He had a big stab in the nose. You trying to touch me and stuff. Oh, I can't touch I know. I was disinfecting I everything. Can't, can't touch me. I can't touch me. Yeah. And about one Sunday, we didn't yeah, come on. I was just too, you know, it was bad. It was bad. I love you, but I'm not trying to get what you got. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Tasha, we see that you join in. Rosalind, Carolyn, Jacqueline. Uh, Rod, Ann, Kenya, Abertina, Cassie, that's all the ones we can see for right now because Facebook is not letting us see for some unknown reason. I don't know what my son did to get the, the see this. It's still on the comments. Yeah. And, and it just popped up. And it popped up. So mm -hmm. anyway. um, Before, it was just a gray screen. I mean, it was just gray. That. Like nobody was on the screen at all. That's what yeah. it looked like. But anyway, back to what we were been Focusing on the highs. Okay. Know. Let me just uh, go back to what we've been saying because this won't be a long segment tonight. Um, every time you say that, it'll be a long segment. I know, right? Stop saying that. Stop saying that. Okay, all okay. Stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, remember what I was saying about being prepared. So that means be prepared and um, be in the chains that's prepared. You know, you you being in the position to be blessed. You being the bigger person. Um, you you being. Uh, you know, the, the showing, show, being the light, I'm going to say that. Being the light that God wants you to be. Because, you know, you've been praying for that ultimate comeback. And it's the season that God is restoring, renewing, reconnecting. You want to be in a position that you connected with the right people at the right time. And remember last week we talked about, you know, put a watch over your mouth. When you're around your gatekeeper, because you'll never know if you're around your gatekeeper. Watch what comes out of this. Yeah. I was, ooh, we were having a conversation with that, you know, that many you guys don't yeah. know we back in Beaumont, right? That was a good conversation. And let me tell you something, you know, Very Beaumont, I don't know if many of you who are, who are not familiar with Beaumont, Texas, who, you know, who are in other places. Beaumont is not that big, okay? There's no comparison to Beaumont and Houston. I don't know why people compare Beaumont to Houston, but there's no there's comparison. There's no comparison. Um, yeah, Beaumont I'm, is really small compared. Beaumont is 120,000 people. Houston combined all areas is eight million, so it's, it's See, definitely no uh, no no comparison. No comparison. So anyway, but so um, uh, you know, it's not that big. And I did hear, and I come from a large family, and I was telling my son in the ladies' we were all talking, you never know who know who. <laughs> you know, you could sit there and be like, um, yeah, call it the and you don't know that could be my cousin. My first cousin, just because we may not have the same last name, you don't know that. You know, just like my son, you know, you don't know that Daniel's my son. We don't have the same last name. So, you know, I'm just saying, I'm saying that because this lady was saying that uh, there was a lady, there was a picture of a lady when she walked into this uh, business and there was this picture of this lady. And she was like, oh, that's my friend. And she just going on, but the lady didn't say anything bad, but good thing she didn't. And the lady just said, really, that's your friend? Your good friend? And so the lady said, yes. And she said, well, here, you want to talk to her? Because it's my sister. She called the lady. And she was like, girl, good thing I, you know, I didn't have anything bad to say. But just to say, I did not know that lady's sister. And so you never know who people are. So put a watch over your mouth and be careful what you say. I mean, it's like the enemy will try to test you. Tim, Ooh, to say something about to somebody. To say something, don't say nothing. You know how the old folks used to say, I'm not going to say nothing because I don't know nothing. But you know, you know, you know, mm -mm, you don't know nothing. They can pick you all they want because you never know if they're your gatekeeper or somebody watching is your gatekeeper. I'm telling you how the enemy, he, no, remember, he's out to kill, steal, and destroy. So you got to be careful and you got to watch your motives and watch your intentions. Because everybody's not going to take your intentions and your motives like you meant for them. So you remember I said earlier, you don't want your ill, your good to be spoken evil of. You don't give people nothing to talk about. Yeah. If they talking about something, it's going to be fair, okay? Because that truth going to shine straight through them. You understand what I'm saying? Because God going to vindicate. Because it's the season he, he's rewarding. So remember when the season of read, he's rewarding. <coughs> Restoring. Rejuvenating. Rejuvenating. You know, give me that Rebuilding. Day. You know, that new, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start walking. Let me just tell you. I'm proud I'm going to start walking in the morning. Um, you know, he's giving you that, that, that burst of energy to start doing what, you know, you, he's called you to do. You give that, that, that extra pick me up. Uh, he's reconnecting you. He's connecting you. 
Remember I told you uh, earlier, be careful who you are connected to. Just because you have bloodlines does not mean that's the people you're connected to for where you're going. I'm not going to say season because I'm saying this is permanent. You got to be careful that you're around like-minded people. You don't need nobody putting that doubt. The people that connect you are your children. They're the people that support you. Mm -hmm. You can be comfortable in your own skin around them. That's the people yeah, you know. Yeah, people you got to put up front to be around. Or you got to walk on eggshells to yeah. be around them. That's not the people oh, who got to. Oh, I don't act like this. Oh, oh, say this. oh, oh goodness. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are the people, you know, not, not, even though you're around people that you're connected to, that's not when you just let your guard down and you're making a fool. Yeah, I'm talking no, about I ain't talking about that. No. Mm -hmm. I talking but about I'm talking about you can be, like I told my son, he has a funny personality. But he can be, he can have a funny personality, but be the young man of God. You understand what I'm saying? And nobody, they're not judging him for that. They're not criticizing him for that. Or every time he do something, you a man of God. You know, he he this be funny You know like what I'm saying? Well, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. please. Okay, Go yeah. On somewhere. yeah. So people that you can't be you, you know what I'm talking about. When you feel comfortable being you, people, you but you're free, around. free. Because what a spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So you're not being uh, feeling free to be you to express your gifts, to use all of your gifts, um, to shine. You know, just like this, this is like we have here. If you can't be that stadium light, that halogen light. And they, they feel threatened by that or intimidated by that. They're trying, they're trying to turn off your life. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You don't need to be around it because that's not who God has you connected for. And there's no hard feelings. Don't have no hard feelings. No animosity. None of that. Make sure your heart is right. Remember to be in that position. Make sure that you be in a position to be blessed. That means that your heart is right. Your mind is renewed. You are transformed. And that you know, you got to go out of your mouth. you are forgiven. you have letting go. And there's no shade. And you just going to keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? And so you're going to shake the dust off your feet and you keep it moving. And, but you're going to go ahead and be you. Be, because you need, but the reason I'm saying is, you need all of your gifts operating. What God has called you to do, you need to be able to be able to do all that God is called you to do. So you can feel it's going to help birth you out. He'll push you out. Because some people, y'all remember, you're not meant to do this by yourself. No. So you're going to need people around you that are going to help you get to where God wants you to get. Then you're going to help them. It's like y'all going to be begetting each other. So if you can help encourage this person, because you have something they need, I don't know, it, it ain't all uh, monetary. So Whatever it is that you have that they need, vice versa, it's got to be a, a, a transaction going on throughout the whole relationship. You, you know what I'm saying? Throughout the whole business deal, throughout the whole uh, ministry, whatever it is that, you know, the marriage, whatever, it's a transaction going on. You, you understand what I'm saying? And if it's you are always giving and you feel restrained to give, because remember, God loves a cheerful giver. So God needs you to freely give. And if somebody hears from you giving, that's not who God needs you to be around. You need to shake the dust off the feet and move, keep it moving. Like when my spiritual mom say, keep it moving. You need to keep it moving because you have to be in a mm -hmm. position to be blessed. So I mean, God wants your hands to be found doing what he's called you to do. And somebody don't like you doing kingdom work, baby. You definitely don't need to be around them. You need to go. They need to go and, and, and love them with the love of God and mean no harm. But for where you're going and for what you've been asking God for, you need for that thing to come through. You need those things. I know it ain't just no one thing you're asking God for. Come on now. No, you, know. you, you need everything that God has said is yours to come to pass. I mean, so if somebody don't like you serving and volunteering and giving, and they, they got to complain about that, you need to cut them loose. Yeah. Because they, they're 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 hindering you. That's a hindrance. Cause you gotta wonder, ooh, I wonder if I should oh, give. Cause what's she gonna say? Or oh, I wonder if I get up and speak. If 
this person going to say something. Well, if I wonder if I go help these people, the people going to say, well, she always trying to do this. No, you need people that's going to say, girl, yeah, let's go do this. Or, oh, girl, yeah, you go do this. You know, or you just encouraging you and motivating you and want to see you be the best that you can be. And you should want that for your friend. You should be the same, the same thing you want out of other people. You should be there doing it for them. And basically, I mean, you know, they, um, unless the Holy Spirit has something else, I don't have anything else tonight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's really plain and simple. It's just, I just really elaborate mm -hmm. on, uh, elaborate further on. It's just, it's just simple. Yeah. You know, stay, don't, you know, ah, mixing my words up. Just don't be around people or stay away from people who aren't good for you. You know, they're always criticizing you. My mama said they're always criticizing you. And, you know, I don't know how you look or how you talk or what you're doing, you know. <laughs> you need to, you know, you need to find that exercise. <laughs> you need to find that exercise quick. Because, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. they're not helping you, man. You're not, you're not helping you. Because then you're not walking in your true identity either. You no. Know? You're not walking in your true identity. Yeah. If God has called you to be all you're of that. You're basically being an imposter. Yeah. Because around this person. Just mm -hmm. because you like this person. Why? Why would you like this person if they're always criticizing you? And you got to dim your light for them to be around you. Yeah. No. no. Just no. to make them look good. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's a good connection. In your, in your eyesight. It's a good connection no, to be with them. It's not a good connection. Yeah, all popular because I'm with this person. How is it a good connection to be around them if they can't be who be all that they can be? That's not a good connection because no. you you no. you're, you're shutting down. So inside of you, you know you feel it that you're shutting down. Oh no, I can't say this. I can't be me. I can't be free. If you can't be free, stop being in bondage relationships. Be free. Stop being around people that you can't, you know, you can't speak. I ain't saying speak your mind. Like, you know what I'm saying. Come on now. And uh, they can say things to you, but you can't say those kind of things that they say you back well, to them. I, I'm not talking about that because I'm not talking about saying they may say something disrespectful. I'm not saying no, I'm that. No, I'm talking about like, um, I'm not talking about like that. I'm, not, I'm talking about like, uh, you know, they may can help somebody. But you can't help somebody like that because, you know, they have a little status thing. You know, don't be like me. Or, you know, that's what I do. Well, I mean, I don't want to hang around those kind of people. You know, people who like, you know, mm -hmm. um, say y'all both on the football team. And y'all both play the same position. He play wide receiver and he play wide receiver. Or he or she. And, you know, he may like throwing one-handed catches. But he don't always catch them. But every time you do a one-handed catch, you catch it. Oh, so it's like you showing them up. Yeah. Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Well, you know, yeah, people that feel like you showing them up or mm -hmm. they, they say you think you more than mm -hmm. us. Are you better than us? You don't need to hang around them either. Because, uh, you know, that that's another, that goes back to you having to dim your light. You, you can't allow your abilities to shine. You shouldn't want to be around anyone that doesn't want you to be all that you can be. Yeah. That doesn't want you to be the true you. That doesn't want, it's like, you know, two people can sing. One sings louder and harder. She makes it. The other one, she just doesn't sing like that. That's her. And my whole thing is be comfortable in your skin. Be true to yourself. Be, be, you know, I ain't talking about the world way you're saying being true to yourself. No, no, You're not going to go there. But I'm talking about, about the way guys say be true to yourself. No, they talking about like that. They ain't lying to yourself. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we're not going to go there. But I'm talking Woo. about, you know, be true who you are. You know, that be you. Be all that you can be being the, the, the godly person that God has called you to be respectful, you know, just just walk with integrity, being all that God has called you to be and, and just walk in it. And so, you know, that's part of being being the chain that is prepared. So when God ready to bless, hey, 
You know, you don't need nothing for God said. Well, I was gonna give you this, but remember you said oh, this. You don't want to hear that. And he knocked it down a notch, a couple notches. That's that hurt right there. And he's like, <laughs> it's like first the guy had a um what's that car that Kardashian Kardashian girl got? Uh, uh not a Bentley, it's an Astro. I don't know the name Somebody of it. Aston Martin. Yeah, she got one of those, right? Mm -hmm. God have an Aston Martin for you and you got a corona. Oof. Or you got a uh, Toyota, which is still a nice vehicle. Oh, yeah, I'm just saying compared but, to Aston Martin. But this is what God is going to give you. But you, because you wasn't in the right position to get all of it, because of maybe you, you know, you fell short on some things or not being prepared. Maybe your attitude, your, your emotions, your, you know, your intentions, your, your thoughts and how you feel about people, what you see, how you treating people, you know, not being connected to the right people. You know, you got to get connected to this billionaire and you got to connect to this thousandaire. You see the difference, you know, because you're going, oh, I'm fearful, I'm scared. And God told you to go over there and connect with this other person and you, you settle for and don't settle. You settle for the smaller thing. Oh, well, you know, God wants you to have a bigger house. And you go like, well, it's just me and my son, so why I need this? Why I need this big house? And you go on saying, oh, it's too many rooms to clean. Too many and God saying, well, I see, it was another people. reason because I, I was gonna let you host certain things in your home, and people could be able to stay with you, or you could. There's a feeling they need to stay with you later, or whatever. There's different um, for ministry. You, you, like I said, you know, if you don't have a big home, how you gonna host? Uh, a girl's uh, retreat at your house. You don't have no room. You only have two or three bedrooms. You can't host people in your house. So, see, you don't, you don't know the reason why God is blessing you. Or your apartment. Yeah, you, you can't. So, you don't know the reason why God is blessing you with that. So, don't 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 cut off. You don't settle for the studio when he's trying to give you a penthouse. Or, or the mansion, yeah. you know, you don't know why, or the hotel, you don't know why yeah. God, what's down the line that God has you getting ready for what he's wanting to give you. Because you know his word said he's able to do a seeding and abundantly above oh, all you could yeah. ever think or imagine by the powers that work in you. So you cutting off stuff. That's why you you getting all what God wants you to have. I'm telling you, I'm on all what God tell me I can have. I'm I'm trying my best. Uh, it's not easy, and I think we all may fall short some part of that. Cause you know God said you you, know, you get to have it. You could have had this. Like wait, wait, I could have had this. Yeah, and so I'm trying. But you know it's not the easiest. But you know I let's put it like this. I'm trying to get as big as I can get. You, you know that it, it, that I can allow in my qualityness, you know. No, <laughs> right I'm trying, I'm yeah. trying, I'm trying hard. Lord, so not all this flesh out, and you know, help me, Jesus, because I want it all. You know, I want this to be the biggest comeback. I want Him to prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, honey. So everything that said I couldn't do it, it wasn't gonna happen. Okay, now. You let God do that. And, and God told me he was going to take care of me and my son. So I got to I gotta trust him. I'm going to let him do what he got to do. I'm going to uh, <clears throat> just step back enough to let God take control. And so whatever he wants to do, I want him to just bless me off of my goodness. Bless me off of his goodness. Yeah. Cause That's what you want to work I want now. him to bless me off of his goodness. Not for what, just what I've done. Remember what I've done. But bless me off of because he's God. And because I serve a big guy, I expect big things. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off tonight in prayer. And uh, we want you to be encouraged. We want you to be prepared to stand in faith, speak faith, and can continue to let your hands find yourself doing some kingdom work. And stay away from those poisonous people. Oh, yes, you know, yeah, yeah. stay yeah. away from those. And and those who don't, are, are not. They're not supporting you. Supporting anymore. your cheerleaders. Mm -hmm. don't, don't, don't have no bad attitude. No. Just, just ease your own way up. And, 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 and do something good. 
Do, do some good stuff. Yeah, do some good for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's because you don't want your, 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 your good things to open even up. Yeah. You know, where they need you, but I don't think that's what they live. <laughs> I know. You want to yeah. be like that. You want to be like, hmm, man, ain't up all my food and she left. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. So you, you want to make sure you, you do good. Do do good. Do what God, do what, what you know is right to do for someone who may have mistreated you or someone who doesn't receive you, someone who um, may have misjudged you. you. You know, just do some good. Just do do good. Be the bigger person. Be the bigger person. Watch the blessing. Watch, 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 watch God. Watch mm-hmm. God show up to show out. No matter how hard it is to be that bigger mm-hmm. person. Be it, be it, be it, be, 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 be the like, bigger. Just watch, because the, the face they don't have is just going to just crack you up. But you, you got to keep that laugh into your way. Yeah, yeah. Your way. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to end this with prayer. Father yeah. God, we just come right now, God, giving you all the honor and the glory. God, we know that when praises go up, bless this true do come down. Yes, Truly, God, do. we know that this is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice. And be seen and abundantly glad in it. For God, you are so good that your mercy endureth forever. God, tonight as we stand in agreement that we are getting prepared, that it is done, we stand in faith, we speak faith. And because we're getting in position, and we are in position, to receive everything that came on upon the locust house store from earth, everything that you said that you could restore, rejuvenate, Reconnect, reunite, um, replace, rebuild, God, reward. God, we want it. We want the position. So, Holy Spirit, be careful of your Holy Spirit, His position. So, Lord, Holy Spirit, that your Holy Spirit lead and guide us. Reveal to us those things that, uh, that we don't know that we're doing, that we need to be doing. Reveal to us those things those areas where we're not in position yet. Reveal to us everything that we may not see in the natural, but that we can see in the supernatural. God, we ask through the power of your blood that you cover, you rest, rule in the body. We plead your blood. We call on our angels, favor angels, to gather our finances from the north, the south, the east, and the west. And so, God, we thank you that every blessing that you said that yea and amen is coming to pass. We thank you, Lord, for the testimonies. We thank you for the healing. We thank you, God, for the financial breakthroughs and miracles. We thank you for the new homes. We thank you for the new cars. We thank you for the husband. We thank you for the wives. We thank you for the saved children. We thank you for business growth, ministry growth. We thank you, Lord, for godly help that is already here and kingdom connections, divine connections. We thank you, Lord. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. 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 We love you. This has been Carlita and Daniel going peace. And we love you. We'll see y'all next time. Love you. Bye-bye.